Remember, vacation, what does the word mean? It's for vacate, vacate your current life. That's what it means, vacating your life. If you love your life and you love what you're doing, you don't need a vacation from your life, right? You need to, what, so what are you doing? Say, well, I wanna go on vacation, the purpose is to have more fun and adventure than I'm doing right now with the normal stuff. Great, if you're going to have more fun and adventure, maybe you don't need to unplug for a week. Do what you're doing, you do rafting, you do climbing, you do whatever you're doing, hiking, and you get go back and you do your, your emails and you take care of the business that you normally have to do it. It's no big deal, okay? It's not what your, your, your make, quote unquote vacation, your objective was. It wasn't to unplug, it wasn't to unwind, right? However, if you are going for vacation to vacate your current life, if you're going to replenish, to rejuvenate, to, to reignite yourself, to come from a new place, to clear your head, to, to um, chill out, to alleviate stress, different objective. You definitely want to unplug. And the only question is for how long? If you, if you say for a whole week, okay, if you're able to do that in your business or your job or situation, do it for a week, it's fantastic. You'll you'll reignite yourself, you'll recondition yourself, you'll reset yourself. It's just like a, a computer, you know, a computer to reboot it, you normally it has to turn off, right? It doesn't go, oh, it's on, I'm gonna reboot it. I mean, I don't know that much about computers, but from what I know, you have to restart it, it has to go on and off and then on, right? So you reboot. So, you know, for some of you, it's if you have the ability to do for a week, fantastic. Unplug for a week, it'll change your life. If you don't, unplug for two days, that'll change your life. If you don't, unplug for one full day. Just get off the electronics. I promise you that will change your life because getting off the electronics, even your phone, I know it's, I know it's challenging for us today because we get all our information on our phone, but that's the point. Don't get any information. Harv, how am I gonna find out what's going on? You're not. Well, but what's gonna happen? Nothing, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, but, but, but what, uh, what if I miss something? You're not gonna miss anything that important, you know? You can go away for one day and unplug. Try it. If you can't do that, try one afternoon. See what happens. Try one evening, see what happens. Just get away from the electronics. Electronics bombard us. They bombard us with, with waves that are, let's call them, full of knowledge and information, but there's no spirit in them. There's no heart in them. There's no soul in them. And they take away from our heart, our spirit, and our soul. They do, as simple as that. You don't have to believe it, just check it out for yourself. And so I would highly recommend unplugging for whatever time you can, you know, given the situation that you're in. And you practice, you start what? Think big, start what? Start small. Start unplugging for one evening, just an evening. Put away the phone. What about television? No, that's electronic. No, no TV. Um, what about, so what do I do? I don't know, go for a walk, read a book, sit outside, meditate, some plug. Okay, just read it, read it, just chill out. You'll find it's a whole different world out there when you're not on your utensils, on your devices. And there's nothing wrong with being on it if, you're, if, if your objective allows for it.